Right. Yeah. UCSF researchers looking at the case of three teenagers who developed psychiatric symptoms after being infected with COVID-19. As Len Ramirez has more on what we know about these troubling cases. Well, researchers have been interested in how COVID-19 affects different age groups in different ways. Now comes some unsettling evidence that when it comes to teenagers, the virus might also be affecting their minds. Researchers at UCSF say that out of 18 COVID patients in 2020, three also had severe mental problems. It was a relatively abrupt onset of symptoms, so obsessive behaviors, delusions, paranoia, and um, and it was really those symptoms that brought them into the hospital. Dr. Michael Wilson says the patients had minor to no respiratory symptoms of COVID-19, but the timing and speed of the mental problems was suspicious. Could their psychiatric symptoms have been triggered or exacerbated by this recent viral infection? The three patients underwent spinal taps, which revealed unusual antibody activity in their spinal fluid. And there were some subtle markers of inflammation in these children that, that said that something was going on, but not exactly what the cause was. Then lab research suggested the virus could have infected the patient's central nervous system and antibodies, which normally attack invaders, were attacking the brain. We found um, in two of the three children evidence for um, autoimmunity, uh, meaning the immune system affecting uh, self proteins in the spinal fluid. Dr. Wilson says the sample size of three patients is too small to make any conclusions, but could the developing brains of teenagers be slightly more susceptible to the virus? It's a question researchers at UCSF and elsewhere are now focused on answering. In San Jose, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5.